Hello everyone, my name is Louis and this is Crash Build and today I'm going over just a very very quick problem that I very often run into on Fusion 360. Now I use Fusion 360 for a lot of things, um, most of them original designs, but occasionally I need to import a design uh, that may originally have been an STL or it might be a step file. If I convert from STL to step using something like uh, FreeCAD, then there can often be a problem whereby I get something like this. Now I'm going to open a new file. And this is an imported file from an STL. So you've got a normal uh, STL, or well, actually this is a solid. But if I go into bodies, notice you've got this horrible thing here. Now I recently learned that this is called a surface body. And it's called so because instead of it being a closed shape, an actual solid, somewhere in this sort of amalgamation of faces is an open face. So it's actually not a solid object. There is a gap somewhere. And I only recently learned how to fix this because this comes up very often with files and in the past I've just abandoned the file because I haven't been able to figure out uh, a way around it. But today I successfully managed to actually convert one of these into a body. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if I change workspace, and often if you're faced with this type of file, uh, a, a surface body, um, Fusion 360 will go straight into the sculpt workspace. But we actually don't need that. We need the, I think it's a new workspace. We need the patch workspace. So if we go into patch, and then let's disable any of the other bodies, because these are, at the moment, they're irrelevant. And we go to select this body, and we go to modify and stitch. Now notice how it says join surfaces to make a single surface body or solid body. It will highlight in red any of the, the edges that are lower than the stitching tolerance. So if the if the thing itself is too um, too small, I think it's too small, or maybe it's too big, too small, then it can't it can't stitch it essentially. It'll, it'll show all the successful stitches in green, but the unsuccessful ones it'll show in red. So let's give that a try. And down here, there's a hole. So the stitching process can't go any further because of this hole here. And there's a good chance that the only reason why this isn't a solid body is because of that singular hole. So rather than do the stitch now, I'm actually going to cancel that. I'm going to rotate around so we can see the hole and then zoom in. And this is the problem at the moment. So if I, if I change the angle slightly, you should be able to see that it's actually an open space and you can actually see through this should there should be a wall here but there isn't there should be a face here sorry there isn't you can actually see the geometry inside of the shape which is obviously a bad sign so we need to correct this somehow and I believe the tool that I used was is it patch yeah patch here we go so if I go to patch this wants me to select like an open uh, boundary or an open edge so I can select this, and that will immediately add in a patch. And I mean, what will happen is when you create this, so if I click OK, it's now created a patch. Now that's a, that's a closed solid. However, it's added this over here, which obviously is a little bit of a pain. So what I can do is I should be able to select this, and then I'm on a Mac, so I have to hold the command key in order to select two objects in a list. If I now go to modify and stitch, and notice how now it's highlighted in green, which is obviously a, a very good sign. If I click O, oh, so I've, sorry, I've put the tolerance down to minimum, which admittedly does require a lot more computing power, so it might be quite slow, um, depending on what kind of a machine you're on. If I click OK, Ta da It's now a solid body. So now, if you want to um, 
uh, manipulate this file like a normal model, like any other uh, normal model, um, you can do. Just because of that uh, simple kind of two-step process, you can now convert a surface body into a solid body. So I hope that helps. That's just something that I thought was really uh, pertinent because I've only just learned how to do it. Uh, run into that problem a ton of times. So um, here's hoping that sort of prevents some uh, some head scratching or uh, you know kind of anyone from having to abandon any models that they otherwise would have uh, have worked on. So thanks very much for watching. Um, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye.